Uh, today, President Ruto will be attending a church ceremony at a Kambuli church, which is actually located in, uh, I think it is in Kakamega. Yeah, it is in Kakamega. And what people have as been asking is that why is the president not attending church services in Mount Kenya region, where he was almost attending two, three, four church services uh, while he was uh, campaigning, and even sometime uh, uh, just after becoming the president of the Republic of Kenya. What is happening that he has now started uh, separating himself from the church services in Mount Kenya region and is now fully concentrating on Western and other regions of the country. And in this video, we actually want to try to get that idea on why he is doing so, uh, so that we can evaluate and see whether he has lost support in Mount Kenya and whether he can actually uh, be able to get back uh, the support. Remember, Mount Kenya is a key region in the politics of the Republic of Kenya, and him losing it, considering that it gave him over 47% of the vote, means that he will have lost a very huge chunk of votes. But before we go on, maybe let me take this opportunity also to request those who are new to our channel to subscribe so that any moment we release this kind of video, YouTube will always give you a notification. Now, the president of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, impeached the former president, that is, the former deputy president, that is Rigathi Gashagwa, on uh, various allegations, including being divisive and actually uh, orchestrating uh, or being part of what they refer to as the Mandabano. There are many reasons, including even in subordination, whereby uh, he was actually forced out. And did, this did not sit very well with the people of Mount Kenya, especially considering that some believe they did vote for Ruto because of Rigathi Gashagwa. And I have been able to follow some, see some who have been vowing that even though they did not like a Gashagwa as an individual, but they felt betrayed and insulted by the fact that Ruto used Gashagwa to get votes from Mount Kenya region, then upon winning the election, okay, and upon stabilizing his government, he removed him and replaced him with Kitura Kendiki, who was, although he was still his ally during election, he was not very key in the campaign team of Dr. William Samuel. And even regarding Gashago, at some point, also uh, alluded to the fact where he said that it seems like the president wanted only to use him as a campaign tool or a person to help him in campaign and once he wins the election he will actually uh, discard him left eight apartments for his children in langata and asked us to sell and the proceeds to the wives the children and the brothers in a formula that he gave in a family meeting that i chaired we agreed as a family that we should not sell the flats. We should share them so that everybody can be getting a rental income. Here, as he gave to me, I have 10 flats. His daughter has 10, his wife has five, another one has two, another one has one. So we did put this company together called Grad by. Apartments Limited. This is a company that will be managing estate of the late Gashago. Again, this company has been put here by the Honorable Mutuse as a company set to manage flats belonging to a dead good man. Future of his children and in his death he is being haunted on has been made that regarding Ashagwa is no longer useful to this administration he is a spent cartridge his work was to help fight Uhuru Kenyatta 
and get President William Ruto to power. And thereafter, he is of no use. So he should be dispensed with. And somebody else can be appointed. Again, it's the will of the Kenyan people. That is the viciousness that we are even fighting the dead. How insensitive can we be? What is this power thing? That you even fight the dead for you to entrench yourself in power and get rid of your perceived political enemies. I appeal to the people of Kenya to have respect for the dead, if nothing else. Now, listening from Rigadi Gashago himself, there could be some truth in that. And uh, that only means that Dr. William Samuel is not interested in the relationship, let's say the loyalty relationship with the Mount Kenya region. He is not in interested in what we may refer to as a transformational kind of relationship whereby he gets some help and they also give him some help. He's only interested in transactional and control type of relationship whereby he can do anything that will give him control over given people or control over the Ke Kenyans even if it means sacrificing his friend or sacrificing a person who helped him during the campaign period uh, of the year 2022 uh, and that does not sit well even with where he's going Let's say now he has decided to concentrate on the Western region. They will not view him as he thinks they will view him because they believe that if he did betray the people of Mount Kenya, despite the fact that they give, gave him the highest number of votes, then what will prevent him actually from betraying them once he get, he, they give him that amount of votes? Therefore, uh, I see uh, he is actually having a very, very difficult time, a very shaky relationship with Mount Kenya and the relationship he thinks he's trying to create with other regions is really not promised or is uh, or may not succeed as he actually presumes or he thinks that it may succeed. People uh, are viewing him with suspicion and this is not just limited to Mount Kenya, it's limited across the country and uh, Unless he does something very, very radical, something that will change the life of the people very, very dramatically, and then it will be very, very difficult for him to convince any person within the Republic of Kenya that he means good for them. I do understand that he is avoiding the Mount Kenya region for a lot of reasons, including possible huckling, uh, maybe backlash, or even very few people may actually attend his services or his ceremonies uh, where he will be. And that will not be very, it will not be sitting pretty uh, with the head of state, uh, considering that he's actually need to be given uh, some kind of respect that is uh, for the optical uh, purposes so that he can be viewed as an, a leader who is loved uh, as he has been showing uh, that he's loved uh, by the people in the country. I don't know what you think about this. Do you think that the president will be able to get back the Mount Kenya region? I, I, I do understand that he's waiting maybe uh, for the region to cool down so that he can go back there uh, after some time. Do you think they will cool down and allow him back and give him the same amount of votes they did in the year 2022? And what do you think about the fact that he has now decided to go to uh, to, to other regions, including Western. Do you think that there could be some a kind of trust between him and this new region that he has decided to explore? You can throw in your opinion at the comment box uh, so that we continue this kind of conversation. Let us meet in the next video. Bye-bye.